Hi, what is up everyone? And today is day two of the Crucible League. Um, I want to do a little bit of recap of what has happened, what is going to happen, and give you some tips on um, other stuff like the progression and of course the COC builds. All right, so um, first of all, my own progression. Okay, I've completed fully completed the low budget COC. Um, it's over here. So yeah. Still using the tabula, sitting at 4.7k health, currently at level 90. Okay, so um not it, when when you are probably at the stage near like me, you should be already somewhere near red maps. Right, um so yeah, I've completed yellow maps, I've completed white maps, uh completed Uber Lab as well. Um and currently I'm left with like tier 14, 15 and 16 maps, basically the top layer of the map and a few of the other unique maps which I have not purchased. So pretty much I am done with the uh Atlas progression probably tomorrow because I didn't get to play extremely much today. I am still not feeling extremely well. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, I think this is actually quite an accomplishment for me. I didn't expect I am still able to survive and do up until raid maps. Right? I, I thought I, I was going to be down for the day, but turns out medicine is working and I'm feeling slightly much better. Okay, so um, another thing I want to say is when you are around my stage uh, here, when you are working on raid maps, it is very normal to die a lot, okay? It's very normal to die a lot at red maps because you need to rare and vow them which can be extremely rippy and difficult, alright? You can even roll until like 8 mod maps with uh, probably 2 or 3 lines of modifiers that your build is going to face a lot of difficulty with. So it's very normal to die and like use all 6 bottles, okay? It is even normal that Sometimes even I myself cannot complete the map. I use up finish all six portals and I still did not complete the map. Okay, it is possible. Alright. And yeah, I have finished the Infinite Hunger and uh the Polaris invitation. I suddenly cannot remember what's the boss the boss name, alright. Alright, so basically the Polaris invitation and yeah, Infinite Hunger. I've completed that. And the next thing I want to emphasize is basically for all of the uh, players that are playing my low budget COC build. This there there are two portions of it. All right, so the first one I'm going to talk about is transiting from the league starter arc to the low budget. All right, this is the things that I'm going to let you know. These are additional things to take note. Okay, first of all. Cosprey is very expensive this day. I have no idea why and I don't know if I really don't know what is going on with it but it is very expensive this day. So let me just find it for you okay and show it to you. Um there is really no exact price right now but I have been looking at the market. I've been looking at the market and it is increasing in price. Alright, I, I think this might have something to do with the hype with Saboteur. Okay, because I am seeing a few other other players also playing like Saboteur, COC and stuff like that. So be wary, this is gonna be very expensive. For the chop percent attack speed is it costs about 30 to 35c and for the 14% attack speed it's gonna cost like up to 50c. Right, it is really, really very expensive. So bear in mind your transition is gonna take longer than expected. Last league it was like 10 C only, but this league is a different scenario. Okay. Uh so secondly, you can actually transit into a low budget just using one cosplay first. It is totally fine. Okay, it's totally fine. There is no mandatory thing that you need to use to cosplay because uh, just one cosplay is going to help you trigger your utility stuff, right? So you can just choose either one side of them. For me, when I started off yesterday, I also went with one cosplay and one shield. And I wouldn't say I struggled along the way. It is still completely fine. So the cosplay, I just equip it with the Ice Nova for better clear. And once I have enough currency to buy the other cosplay, I will just equip it. 
right? So no problems with one cosplay first. Um, the third tip is if you do not have the minus mana bench craft, right? You can still transit early. Okay, you can still transit early. It doesn't matter, but remember to use an enduring mana flask. Right, um, for those of you that do not know what I meant, is basically this bench craft over here. Oh, yep, this one over here, which is non channeling skills have minus 7 to minus 6 or to total mana cost. Um, this is very important for the build because you are going to consume a lot of mana, and without this, you are not going to sustain all of your attacks. Okay, so. Um, if you do not have this, it doesn't matter, you can always just use the Enduring Mana Flask first or you can just come over to Discord and ask any of us, okay, or even ask me. Um, I will gladly help you craft it. Um, Alright, the fourth one is if you do not have the Onslaught Movement Speed Benchcraft, okay, you can always use a quick Silver Flask, uh, I mean a Silver Flask, sorry, a Silver Flask as a replacement first. Right, because silver flask gives you onslaught so yeah just temporarily use a silver flask first until you have those uh the benchcraft that gives you 10 percent chance to gain onslaught when you kill a monster right so yep that's basically what i just want to say from the arc to the low budget um it's slightly more expensive this round and there is really nothing i can do about it this is really the cheapest as it goes Okay, and next thing I want to emphasize is from the low to the mid budget. For those of you that are already done with the low budget and you're progressing through the endless while farming for the mid budget, right? Uh, you might want to try and pick up those unidentified rare items that you might need with bases with uh, intelligent bases, those like that gives you base uh, a base of energy shield. Your rings, gloves, boots with ES base, all of them, you can pick it up and try to unveil them. Uh, who knows, you might be lucky and hit some really good bases or those rare items that have ES and maybe some resist, alright? It's really good. Um, and secondly, secondly, please remember to start leveling your skill gems on your alternate weapons, alright? Uh, and whichever free sockets that's available, such as um, Element of Purity, Vow Discipline, blah blah, blah. When you're going to flip your gems, like me, uh, I have equipped just two of the weapons that has three white socket. So you can see here, I basically just recently flipped my jewels, alright? Cast on Critical Strike, GMP, Increased Critical Strike Support. Hair of Ice, uh, Purity Elements, I went to Volley by Fail, I'm trying to get it to level 21, and Sniper's Mark. Okay, Sniper's Mark is the new addition to it. So, the jewels, stuff like that, that has a big, I wouldn't say a big difference, but a good, decent amount of difference to the build in terms of quality, you can try to start leveling them. Okay, um, next is the worst news you can possibly hear, okay? Um, the presence of Chayula Price, right, is just extremely ripped this league, okay, it's just, no, no way, no way in hell, right, we are going to afford it right now, okay, so, at the point of me making this video, currently, there is zero presence of Chayula in the market, yes, there is the lower tier version, which is the Eye of Chayula, okay, it's going for like, what, one alchemy or something like that only, but the problem, right, the problem lies with, the blessing of Chayula. They did some changes to bridge, remember? So now the blessing is going to be much more expensive because um, you can use the blessing on the normal bridge stone and it will immediately turn into a flawless bridge stone. So because of these changes, they actually spice up the rarity of blessing, okay? And it's very, very rare now. So because it is very rare, um, the blessing of Chayula is currently going for like 7 divine right now. It is very expensive. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't think... Okay, probably it will drop in price, but I do not know how much it will drop in price. Alright, um, as for now, I will try to see if there are temporary replacements for the uh, mid-budget view for the amulet. I'm pretty sure there is, okay, I'm pretty sure there is. Probably just need to change the Pentel to Brian King, uh, get some ES on your amulet, and you should be good to go. Alright, uh, I need to tweak and play around with it, uh, and I'll update it over the next few days. 
Okay, so yup, that's the horrible news for the mid budget. Probably none of us is able to afford the present of Chayula at this point of time. Okay, and the last thing I want to emphasize is uh, tips to progress map atlas. I know some of you always have issues progressing the atlas. Okay, um, like whenever I post my video of me completing the atlas on day two, people are like, "Hey, Scar, you actually do this." Uh, endless progression so fast how do you actually climb so fast what what is there some secret method you do guys it's just playing the map i'm just literally playing the map like a normal person you need to know have the know how um i've done this so many times and yeah because i've done this so many times i kind of like know what is the steps what is the procedure like some master memory stuff okay so here is the first tip okay <coughs> I will always try to complete map tiers by map tiers, which means once I'm complete with one, I will go with two, I will go with three, four, and five, and then I will complete all of the white maps first. Okay, so if let's say you have some uh holes or loops in maybe tier three maps, all right, and you are actually starting to do tier four maps already, don't worry, just continue to do the tier four first, all right. Continue to do the tier 4 first until tier 5 and once you have cleared everything and you have left with no maps This is where your Kirak missions and your explorer scouting report comes in, okay? You're gonna go to Kirak and always open your this atlas mission Okay, do whichever that is not completed and before you actually click on them remember to go to his shop to check what is available buy those that you have not complete and start doing them okay this is how i have always progressed my atlas um without any problems all right and also do remember um when you are in white maps i would try to keep the upper horizons okay i'll try to keep the upper horizons um you don't really need it at white maps uh so yeah I'll try to keep them and uh, Kira and really, really Kira and Scouting Reports are your best friends, right? To complete those white tier maps and even the yellow tier maps. Okay, always purchase uncompleted maps. Um, if you do not have the currency, right, you can always exchange them for the vendor. So what you do is, I will always go to here, Kauri Shores. All right, because a lot of them you need to purchase with op of chance, correct? So I'll just go to Lani purchase item and one op of chance is basically one op of fusing right i'll just buy them i'll just buy them because at this point of time you don't really need a lot of op of fusing right you're probably just saving or stocking them up for your mid budget build so spending a few of them just to complete your admin atlas is fine if you do not have all of fusing four jewelers up for one fusing is also fine so you know this is how i actually upkeep all of my uh, currency to buy the maps from kirak okay next is guys i always urge everyone to finish at least more than 90 percent of your map always okay i some of you have actually came or approached me to say hey is it okay if i complete like 50 percent of the map only because sometimes you know the maps is like in one loop so when you are doing halfway you actually find the map boss you kill it and then you get out guys that's wrong okay when you kill the map boss if you have not complete the rest of the map please follow and complete it you will not know when you actually drop more currencies you will not know when you actually drop more maps and if you're always doing it halfway through right there is no way that you can actually progress your map really very well because first of all you're going to miss out all the extra currencies that you can get secondly you might actually miss out maps that will help you progress on or even uh, uncompleted maps might actually drop right so please please always finish at least 90 to 95 percent of map sometimes you know there are like maybe 20 30 monsters remaining from the map uh that one just just forget it okay I i'm not going to go to every single corner of the map to find them that's not really not necessary but at least review and explore the whole of the map Right, that's really very important. Imagine every small portion of this map that you are going to leave out. Okay, let's say maybe maybe you do 80% of the map. Okay, 
this 20%, you're going to neglect it and skip it. Okay, and you continue this for five maps. Right, five maps, all five maps, you're going to do 80% only. Right, what is this 20% remaining? This 20% remaining times five is equivalent to one whole map already. Just imagine it that way. Okay, you're going to miss out a lot of stuff. Right, so uh, please bear in mind. And the last one is, please, um, if you have the currency, right, I will highly urge everyone to buy a divine vessel, okay, and do this pantheon, which is your soul of the Brian King, captured Captain Tainer, 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 whatever, Lightfoot, okay. 100% chance to avoid being frozen. This is very important because... Um, I think among all of the ailments, right, freeze is probably the most dangerous one to me, okay? To me, freeze is the most dangerous one because when you are frozen, you literally can't do anything, alright? So if there's a pack of monsters that come rushing to you, you're probably dead. There's, there's no way you can avoid that. Whereas if you are burned, uh, if you are ignited or if you are shocked, you just take more damage or you'll take more damage over time. You can just run away, pop your life flask and you'll still survive. But frozen, uh, there's, there's, there's no way you're going to survive it if you're frozen. Okay, so uh, yep, I think this is very important. Please do take note to, uh, to try and get that when you're progressing through Atlas. Okay, it's really very good. Alright, so yeah, that's about it. That's for my day two. Oh yes, and last but not least, Crucible. I think the Crucible is really, really in a bad shape now. So my advice will be when you are progressing through the Atlas, you can try to do this a little bit of it. Like do not press all the way. Probably instead of pressing, like let's say maybe if the full duration is 100%, right? Maybe just press 25%. Slowly progress your items, okay? Up until now, I really do not know what is available or what is good. I'm trying to progress it myself as well. Uh, I do not know how to go into the Forge of the Titans. Maybe someone have released a video. I have not seen it. Okay. So, yeah. Um, if you want to do the Crucible, it is fine. But I advise after, when you are at raid maps, do not do it. Otherwise, you're going to die very often. And yeah, this is really the key to reaching a good amount of level. Okay. You can see... I'm currently at level 90 now and this is like on the low budget build and I'm progressing well throughout uh, even mid tier maps. All right, right maybe just so before okay, I go then. off, let me show you one map of how currently the low budget feels like. All right, I think this is something that everybody might want to see. Uh, I'm going to do terrace map because this is like the one of the maps that I need to progress and I'm going to do Syrian Exarch. Let's go. Oops, I forget to on my aura, I think. Yep. Okay, so Terrace is quite a linear map. Um, as you can see, this build, right? Uh, I, I think many people have a misconception of it. Even though I'm using Determination, it doesn't mean this build is super tanky, okay? It's, it's not. The Determination is like just a bare minimum layer of defenses for physical damage reduction i don't think any build should have like zero physical damage reduction unless you are going for like those pure evasion type okay that is like probably the only exception oh my god look <laughs> so this is like one portion of the uh, repeat part where you actually just get bash and you just stand there and can't do anything and this is a King Harbinger I'm talking about. So it's pretty normal to die. It's very normal to die, okay? Um, yep, let's continue. Let's continue. King, ha King Harbingers are very, very painful, especially on great tier maps when you are going to rare your map and bow. So please do be mindful. Okay. But yeah, other than that, actually, the rest is pretty much good, I would say. The monster seems a little bit lethal though. Now, why do I not see a lot of monsters?
Oh yes, and um, when you are playing this build, right, no matter what happens, okay, no matter what happens, um, I strongly advise you do. Oh my god, I don't think I should take it. Okay, I don't think I want to take it. It's too dangerous. I just want to complete my map. So yes, uh, whatever you do, please always move. Yup, you heard me right. Please always move. Do not like stand in one spot like here. I'm just continuously continuously spinning at the same spot right do not do this okay you got to keep moving you have to keep moving um first and foremost this is because you want to try and dodge attacks that are going to be directed right in front of you uh secondly this is also to dodge projectiles or incoming spells that is targeted from uh whichever monsters and so if they are going to like target that particular area where you are in if you are going to continuously move you are going to dodge it okay do not do not uh do not pretend to be like superman or something like that and just stand there to face tank those damage okay it's it's very very painful especially on red maps maybe you can do it on uh in the early games like in white or yellow tier map but once you reach red oh gosh red is painful as hell you can't do that okay all right i'm going to reach the boss soon Oop, off. This. I got Elva, reverse memory, I have no idea what is this but I'll just take it. There is a guy here. Alright, what's this? Oh my god, additional chaos up. Plus 5 to 5 resistance awaken sexton. I'm gonna end already, right? So I yeah I'll just take a sexton. Uh, <laughs> my map is ending already. So there's no point to take the chaos up. And look, the boss is in front, but I will not go in first, okay? Like I say, I want to complete the rest of the map. Completing the map, doing every single uh, content that is available is really important for you to try and get extra maps. Oh, I got a surveyor compass. Whoa, what the hell is happening here? I did not see that coming. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bottom. It's not completed yet. Oh, what is this monster? Oh, this is a soul eater, no wonder. Alright. Let's go kill some boss. Oh, my shrine buff is over. Sad. Uh, it's fine. Okay, boss time. Pop your flask. Just try to go around in small circles uh, around around the boss. Okay, yes. Yep, pop your flask. Go around in circles again, and then just frost blink out. Wings and repeat. Reset. The number of bubbles following me, that's so scary. Oh my gosh. This should be dead. Alright. So yeah, just a very quick gameplay of how the low budget feels like right now. Alright. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video, day 3 video. Bye.